Welcome to this video everyone, and today I'm going to show you how to find the distance between two points on a graph. Let me quickly place the two points in our graph. The first one's going to be located at negative 5, comma, negative 2, and our other dot will be located at 2, comma, 2. Uh, to get a good look at distance, I'm going to draw a line between these two dots. There you go. Okay, now, how are we going to find the distance? We're going to use the Pythagorean theorem, and you might be wondering how come are we going to use this formula if we only have one line, because the Pythagorean theorem is always associated with at least three sides. But there are three sides actually, hidden, but still exist, right here. So as you can see, there's two imaginary lines formed together to form a right triangle. Let me quickly emphasize my point by drawing the right triangle symbol here. Now, let's quickly label each side. We'll call this side A. We'll call this side B. And we'll call this side C. Okay, now let's quickly find the distance of each. Now, since we don't have a ruler and we don't need one, we're going to count by each grid. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So A equals a unit distance of 7. Now let's find our unit distance of B. 1, 2, 3, 4. So B has a unit distance of 4. Our C will stay hidden. So let me emphasize this point by drawing a question mark here. Let's quickly write the Pythagorean theorem. A squared plus b squared must equal c squared. Really simple, and you probably know this formula, but you never associate it with two points on the graph. Okay, so let's replace a squared with a 7 squared, and b squared will be replaced with 4 squared. And our c squared will continue to stay hidden. 7 times 7 is 49, and 4 times 4 is 16. 49 plus 16 equals c squared. Now we have to plus these two numbers together. 49 plus 16 equals 65 and 65 equals c squared. Now we need to find the distance of c, not c squared, so we need to somehow cancel out this 2 right here. To do that we simply take the square root of c, but remember whatever is done on this side of the equation must be done on this side of the equation. So if we take the square root of c squared we have to take the square root of 65. So let's do that now. The square root of 65 equals the square root of c squared. Now, the square root of 65 is approximately 8, because 8 times 8 is 64. I'm going to round it out to the nearest number, like so. And we're canceling out this 2 here, remember? So, 8 equals c. Our c equals 8, so it has a unit distance of 8. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. Goodbye.